Hey there, YouTubers. So in this video, we're going to update the BIOS for the MSI Mag B660M Bazooka DDR4 motherboard. Now, uh, I have system information pulled up, and you can see right here, uh, there's the name of the motherboard. So that's the exact motherboard we want to search for. And up here, folks, is the BIOS. This is H1, all right? February 25th, 2022. Now, how did I find this? In case you wanted to do this, you would type system information up there and voila, okay, that pops up. Now, let's go find our BIOS. So to do that, MSI Mag B660M Bazooka. Now, if you have a full-size version of this or Wi-Fi, you know, if you have a full-size version, which I'm not sure if they do, but you would delete the M. If you have Wi-Fi in there, you'd add Wi-Fi. Um, if it's a DDR5 motherboard, you know, you would add that. Basically, if you're trying to follow along to do a similar BIOS update, that is the way you're going to go about it, okay? So, we want the DDR4 version, which is right here. I pull this up. Now, a lot of these videos done exactly the same way. This one, they have a pull down here to find support, so... We do this and then click on support and we want BIOS, okay? So BIOS is right here. And if you read through these folks, this is the, the newest one, H9. Looks like H9.1. We're going to download that in a second, but we want to read these descriptions. Update CPU microcode, H8, approved PCIe, H7, ready for next gen. Okay, so this is uh, the start of 13th gen at H7, and we're at H1. So here's H3, change the default settings, update CPU micro microcode for i9-12900KS. So if you have that CPU, you would need, um, you know, at a minimum H2. And then here's H1. This is the uh, one that I have. You see what that added. Uh, H0 was the initial one, okay? So, I'm going to say this twice because people always ask this question. If I download the latest, okay, and in this case, as of November 13th, 2022, this is the latest, I will get all the goodies um, in the previous BIOS versions, okay? All right, so once again, if I download the latest, I'll get the cumulative stuff of the earlier ones, all right? Now, I um, wonder if that actually downloaded. So you're going to hit this button and download, folks. There it is, up here at the upper right. So depending on which um, browser you have, you may see it down here. Regardless, it's going to end up in the Downloads folder, okay? Now we want to unzip this. So we're going to extract all. And there is this file. Now, some of these you have to do renames and other crap. But this one, it's good to go the way it is. All right. So we're going to copy this folder. We could just copy that file. But I'm going to copy the folder over to our drive. Now, folks, it is best if you don't have all these additional folders. Potentially having a blank USB would be great. Um... There's lots of ways to format these things. FAT32 seems to work um, really well for uh, Gigabyte. I usually have NTFS on here and then, uh, what is it, XFAT. But, uh, you know, FAT32 should work. All right, so we have copied and pasted that over. There it is. Now we're going to reboot our computer, folks. We are ready for this. Um, warnings while this happens. So I'm going to hold down the delete key right after this. Now I'm holding down the delete key. So you want to check the weather, folks. Make sure the weather's good. Um, you know, a lot of times I'll talk about, hey, if there's a tornado out there, a hurricane, you know, don't do this. Any chance you could lose your power, don't do this. If the electric company has uh, sent you a message about the power going out, don't do this. If you happen to unfortunately live in California, 
with uh, Gavin Newsom as governor. And he tells you that, uh, you know, not to uh, charge your cars or whatever. Maybe you're going to have a brownout or blackout. Um, potentially not a good idea to do this. Wait till uh, I think the evening, um, you know. So just be careful, right? Because you don't want to brick your motherboard. All right, so now we're in our BIOS, folks. This is what's called easy mode, or excuse me, advanced mode. Uh, if we go over to easy mode, you may end up in here. So this is one place, okay, that you can do this. And then on advanced mode, it's here, all right? So this example, let's go ahead and run uh, advanced. Um, click on this. System will auto reboot and enter flash mode. Do you want to enter flash mode? Yes. So it's rebooting. And now I'm using capture card and hopefully it will uh, continue to record as it reboots. So you're not touching your keyboard right now. Okay, folks, stay away from it. And here we go. All right, so this thing luckily, a lot of the times you do these BIOS updates, it has no clue what's going on. This found my flash drive. So then we just look through our directory. Now, if you have a bunch of folders in here like I do, this can get confusing, right? But we know it's that one. And we know this is the file. BIOS version H9. Okay. You should want to select this file. Yes. Now, if you happen to uh, grab the wrong file, then it probably will not work. Um, I don't know that you would actually brick it because luckily I've never uh, had that problem, but usually it will not work if you have the wrong BIOS. Um, and hopefully it saw your USB. Now, while we're waiting on this, and I'm not going to uh, edit this, we're running this from beginning to end. So, so far it's taken 7 minutes, 18 seconds. Folks, you might have to reset your uh, overclock on your RAM, okay? So if you have RAM that's overclocked to 3600 and has a base speed of 2133 or 2400 or whatever, it may just end up um, defaulting back to the base speed. So you'll have to pump it up again. Now, also, the other thing that can happen is your boot drive might get screwed up. So if you have like five drives on here with multiple operating systems, it may not, uh, you know, recognize the actual drive that you normally use. Okay, so you may have to go in there and rearrange which one is your boot drive. All right. And we are more than 60% of the way there. And this thing will reboot probably at least once or twice. And you are not touching your keyboard right now, folks, okay? Sixty-five percent of the way. So this is a nice motherboard. The only thing, like I was saying, that it's missing is that BIOS update button, which is really nice as you go into 13th gen. A lot of gigabyte uh, motherboards have it and the higher end motherboards. And now it's rebooting. So, so far it's taken us nine minutes. If this thing can finish in under 10, this may be the fastest BIOS update I have ever done. So it is uh, restarted a couple times, which you guys 
can't really see that because it's on a black screen, I think, but uh, I can hear it restarting. Now, eventually, this, this video probably will be super popular because people are going to buy these and need to update them for um, future locked CPUs. i5, uh, what is it, 13400 will eventually come out. And so, boom, it did take a little longer than uh, I anticipated. All right, so... System info and H9. So you're ready for uh, 13th gen, folks. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.